Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I am Lord Florence, here playing as Great Britain. So we are preparing for a massive invasion war of India at the moment. Specifically targeting Bahamanis here, who rather stupidly left our co the coalition against me. Um, France and Spain are still in a coalition versus us, which is really frustrating. We do have 50 absolutism, which means if we have unrest, which we don't really have at the moment, uh, or we lose stability, we will have a chance of triggering courting country and getting even more bonus absolutism. Of course, I'll have to survive that whole disaster. So, Anyhow, we'll see where that goes. I'm currently regrouping. Our plan is going to be to strike Bahamanis, Quick attack Pegu here, force them out of the war, then turn around and deal with both Bahamanis and Merwar. We have one tech level, we also probably have a morale advantage. No matter how it goes, it's going to be a rough war. Hopefully I win it. If I lose it, that would really suck. Like, it would set back my invasion plans of India virtually indefinitely. Pretty brutal losing stuff in this game, I have to say. It's not my favorite thing to do, lose a war. It pretty much ruins a run. I mean, there are some wars you can afford to lose that don't, you know, cause havoc. You know, wars where it's your ally fighting, not you. It's still annoying. Let's see, what else do I need to worry about? Um, clergy is mad at me, but that's because they have too much influence. Guys are mad at me because they have unrest. Um, move you two down here. Ships are upgraded. Load both of you onto the transports. Move you to there. And the other option would be fighting, you know, Burgundy up here, who's also in the coalition versus me. So. I guess here we go. Um, you're going to fight for good province. Sierra Kulan. Actually, we want to go for the most valuable one in this area. The Landu or whatever. Fighting for that, we're going to be fighting Marwar, Pegu, and we will start in now. This is going to be rough. We are fighting actually not as many troops as I thought I would be fighting. I thought I was going to be in a lot more trouble. I thought I'd be heavily outnumbered. But I'm not outnumbered, it's just they have a lot of troops. Um, hide that army up there for the moment. Snag a Diplotech. More trade efficiency, even nicer. Then I will very quickly barrage this, hopefully... With all these troops, I can actually take over this country quickly. Don't know if I actually want to steal land from them. I wouldn't be opposed to one of their provinces. But... Must to fabricate claims. That's nice. Not really what I care for, but... Nice nonetheless. Okay. And manufacturers did not fire my country. How annoying. Where did manufacturers fire? Osberg. Cool. They are going to spread into England fairly rapidly, I'd hope. Specifically London, five per month, yeah. Not ideal. I don't really dare waste any money, because I've got a whole army of mercenaries now. If that mercenary army starts taking casualties be pretty disastrous. Um, you, on the other hand, push share maps. I would love to learn more about Burma. There we go. Now I know what's in Burma. Perfect. Oh, and Pugu's army just got destroyed. By mine. Awesome. 
And Pugu's capital fell as well. How much do I need to force you out of this war? That is the goal, is to force them out of the war completely. Not much more, really. Wow, okay. That could be over rather fast. And then, of course, it's going to be a matter of going after Bahamanis in a much, much longer siege. And I think their army's about to stack wipe itself, yeah. That's convenient. Too bad these guys aren't smaller or I'd just try and, you know, vassalize them. I didn't realize it was this easy for Europeans to wipe out... Uh, Asian countries, if you've been playing the tech game. In retrospect, I should have known that, but... What do we need? We've got... We need a rest of at least one stability of less than three. I changed my uh, guy over here. That'll cause some more unrest. Recycle you. He is rather old though, same thing with my ruler, so they could die at any point. Just the Mamluks have ended. I don't think the Mamluks really care that I've been conquering things though. Yeah, they could care less. Care slightly less, but... Right, my fort unfortunately apparently wasn't finished, that's annoying. Um, and nothing, okay. Let's march you guys by land to there. We've just smashed up Pegu's army a bit. There, that ship. Pegu is completely ready to leave the war. Sheesh, right that would be... 35 over cents, that's crazy. Wouldn't mind just taking one of their provinces, really. I mean, I'd like to do something like that, take a coastline, but... Ming have announced me as a rival. Awesome. Kind of actually is. Sometimes the Ming being my rival is a good thing. I know I'm stealing one of your trade center nodes, but I want to do that. If I boost this, I lose. Okay, not a huge issue. I do lose a little absolutism, but I'm not opposed to it. More importantly, it puts the numbers down to a much more manageable level. I outnumber them now and have a tech lead. For the moment, at least. More importantly, I have a infantry level. Like, I've got better troops. 19 was a level. Oh, coldest period of Little Ice Age. That's gonna mess everything up, isn't it? I don't mind about that. Yeah, my system up a bit. Easy victory there. Sadly, no stack wipe. Can't have everything, I guess. Can't have everything. I should leave you there, leave you there. Um, Want to use the mercenary army, ideally. Save as much manpower as possible. Plus, they've got the uh, most cannon, anyhow. 47,000. We have a lot of army professionals, and we can waste if it comes to that, but... Again, prefer not to use up army professionalism on a useless thing. You need 900 manpower a month, though, so that's not bad. Again, I think the target has to be go for... Wow, okay, stack wipe. 
really did not expect that. I think the target has to be fight my way to Marwar and take out their land, their capital. From their capital, I can force a peace, probably. I'd also like to force them, hopefully, to get rid of some nation. Release them. Speaking things that way. Um, how am I doing on... Okay, I've got to save some military power now. Um, the money. Two should still get a waste. March that to there. Can march that to there, though. Ooh, that's actually good. I did want a loss of stability to some degree. We need an unrest of at least one. Does that mean I got that? I just have to wait for war exhaustion. Nice. Sounds really wrong for me to be rooting to lose stability, but... Do need military power, though. I'm going to actually want to focus it. I mean, I'm ahead of time in Diplo and other stuff, but not so much. Sorry. And I'll leave things as they are for the moment. Oh, that's annoying. I had to reject the clergy again. But it does mean I can give them back land in Europe. Right, that should keep the clergy happy to some degree. To make a generous donation, that also helps. How about you? I can. Oh, I can actually ask for diplomatic support and a contribution for a lot of money. Cool. Um, how are we doing with this? Trying to make sure to save enough money that I don't have to wait forever to get the next institution, obviously. Okay, that's going down. You already want peace. No, I'm kind of curious what I could actually take from you. I think I've got claims on like 90% of this land. That would be one heck of a land grab though. Wow. Still want to put me over 100 over extension now, it looks like. So, so long as this province is cored. And... Before I forget... Okay, I did put in a trade thing. The beater. Paper mill. Cool. Heck about paper. This... Economy decrease should go in a little bit. Meantime, there's Marwar's capital. They're not even really even trying to fight my armies at this point. They're just avoiding them. Exactly the way I'd like it. I don't even think these guys took like defensive ideas. No, they took offensive, which means they're inferior morale. Awesome. I also could do Defender of the Fane. I really want this courting country to start. Um, we'll waste some power on that now. Get a taking a war score would be nice. Um, ooh, I don't actually want the stability. Prestige and diplomatic power. More score is mine. I will reoccupy that province. I'm going to lose that fort, I know, so I'll have to be careful about that. <laughs> Taking attrition on that mercenary army, the cost suddenly spikes by like 30 gold. And that's with 25% cheaper maintenance from my ruler, too. Fresh tree. Rather cheap at the moment. Uh, 
that should be enough to force this guy out of the war. It is, but I want you to release a nation. Um, no treaties with Bahamas would be a start. Really, all you want to do. Interesting. I might need to take another one of their forts. I'm not too worried about their military. Their military is kind of a joke. Twenty-two thousand, roughly. Go for Bahamas' capital. Let's snag another merchant. Why not, right? The more trade we steer, the better. And boy, are we steering trade now. Transfer trade from there. Okay, smash that army. Hopefully they'll stack wipe them. Then I can get back to smashing up our war armies. Nope, no stack wipe. And then we will send you to there once I actually get some money back. Mercenary armies are so strong if you can use them properly. I just need a little bit of unrest. There we go! Courting country has started. Okay, what do I need to avoid to stopping this? Less absolutism than 50, unrest lower than 1. Okay, so I have to maintain unrest. So can't lower unrest, have to keep stability low, and have good absolutism. Should be fine on absolutism. Supporting country. Gotta survive this for 50 months. Ideally what I want to do is end the war right as courting country triggers, pretty much. Actually, no, I don't want to exactly. Pretty close to it, though. That's another... Thing for California done. Be five total. More war still. One piece. Fair enough. We'll go for your last forts. Considering I'm not at all worried about Bahamonis' army at this point, it's kind of a, just a matter of walking in and taking over, it appears, which is kind of funny because they have a lot of troops. Is it really just really the morale? I also have discipline, I guess, and tactics. I guess that makes sense. It feels weird to some degree. You are starting to want more peace. Usually I want you to release the largest thing possible, which would be Gujarat or something. Luchistan wouldn't be bad either. Nice. What do you know? Try and block off Portugal. I know, I'm being really sneaky about uh, occupying their provinces in such a way, but best move I can think of to keep Portugal from massively huge. Taruscans are back in this. Oh, New Spain is a thing. That was annoying. Definitely need to fight with Spain at some point. No luck. 21% is not enough to take a fort, apparently. Oh, another conversion. Probably not worth actually trying to convert it. Worth smashing that army, though. One. There we go. And then you to there. Should have enough troops, right? 47, yeah. Taking that, you're marching to there. Okay. 
I don't know why he stopped moving. He'd have gotten away if he hadn't. That's done. That's done. They have one fort left. These guys are in low war desire. Good. That's a trade set. I'm taking Thata from you. Much. I, um, I want Thata and I want no treaties with these guys. And I want you to release the largest nation I can get you to do. It's close, but not good enough. I should just do for multiple small ones. Yeah, that ought to do it. Obviously trying to get as much trade from trade provinces as possible. We'll boost autonomy there a little bit. You are exiled. Enough. Sheer amount of coalition there. I think all the provinces I'm demanding I have claims so on, let's just make sure. Almost got enough. I was overextension done. 17%, but it's going to go down by 8. Uh, I'm going to be overextended for sure. Of course, I don't want to end the war yet. I want courting country to go up. Okay, that's going to be a little bit harder then. A little bit hard to guarantee unrest. Although, if I do take a lot of land, it will stay up high. Of course, if I wait a year or two, we should be half deep. Might be time to pull back my actual troops and mainly focus on my um, mercenary army. I'm also going to have to block recruiting standards a little bit. Just treat you for sure. Just treat you as well. No, I might actually be fine in terms of unrest. Let's see. If I were to lose all my war exhaustion, I wouldn't be, but I would be massively overextended. Tough question. On the other hand, they're willing to give me all of this. So, let's see, how bad are we overextended now? Not as badly as I'd like, but maybe it hasn't calculated yet. Hoping being massively overextended might boost this a bit. We are have got six. We should be good on that front. Would honestly like it to be a little under a hundred overextension, but last nothing I can do on that front. So I could stop. Actually, no, I'm going to let the Orissi revolt. I don't think it's big enough to cause a problem. British particulars, on the other hand, that would be an issue. 
All these other particulars I can smash. Get money. Okay, local rulers. Keeping all the colonies in line. Working towards court and country. We can afford that. Power of a mercenary army, if one can get that big. You won't even join a coalition, Pugu, because I only took one province. Marwar, on the other hand, is really unhappy. Well, Kantha likes me though, which is cool. They long separate. These guys will calm down in a couple of years. But anyhow, that will be it for this episode. We just stole a ton of land. Um, it's really just a matter of uh, in terms of inland. We didn't get one province we needed. We also have to take some lands from Orissa. But other than that, we've got a lot of that done. So really, in order to complete the rest of our Indian missions, we need another fight against Bahamanas and a fight against Orissa. Okay. Well, that is it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye for now.